Welcome to Electron Line. Sometimes we need to be able to take an expression like this and simplify it, and that's typically done through factoring. And you may wonder, why do I ever have to do anything like this? But believe me, there are situations where you will work out a problem and you'll end up with something that looks like this, and now you need to simplify that. Realizing that these are all multiplied together, this can be considered as a single term, plus, separated with a plus, from this, where we have this multiplied times this. So basically what we're looking for is we're looking for common factors here and here. Now I see a 3 here and I see a 3 here, so that can be factored out. I see an x squared and an x cubed, so an x squared can be factored out. And then I see a quantity x squared plus 1 cubed and x squared plus 1 squared. x squared plus 1 squared can be factored out as well, which means that this becomes... Remember, we're going to factor out a 3 and an x squared and an x plus 1, x squared plus 1 quantity squared. So this becomes 3 times x squared times x squared plus 1 quantity squared. That's going to be factored out from here and here. Now what's left? Over here, we realize that this is now gone because we factored it out. The 3 is gone because we factored it out and the x squares go, so we're left with an x here and a 2x there, so 2x times x gives us a 2x squared. Over here, notice we have an x squared plus 1 cubed, we only took out an x squared plus 1 squared, so we're left with an x squared plus 1, and I factor out a 3x squared, so the 3x squares go, so this is the only thing that's left. Intentionally put parentheses around it, not that it was necessary, but to show you that when I factor out an x squared plus 1 squared, I'm left with x squared plus 1 to the first power. Now, of course, I don't need the parentheses, so I can get rid of parentheses and combine like terms. So this now becomes 3x squared times x squared plus 1 quantity squared. And here in the brackets, I have a 2x squared plus an x squared that gives us a 3x squared plus 1. And instead of brackets, we could write parentheses, so the final answer, we could say that this is 3x squared times the quantity x squared plus 1 squared times the quantity 3x squared plus 1. And that's the simplified form of this expression right here. Again, we got the answer by looking for common factors in each of the two terms that we have up there. And that's how it's done.